Okay, so I've never done this before. This is my first reaction video, but Apple's doing something today, and I'm thinking it's going to be Apple Silicon, which means their first CPU that they've made on their own, and that's pretty dang exciting to me. So as a tech guy, this is true tech, true tech of tomorrow, because Apple introducing their own silicone, oh, it sounds incredible. I edit all my videos on a Mac, so do most of my other friends in the industry. I'll admit I use PCs for gaming all day long. When it comes to editing, it's all about the Mac, baby. That's just how it is. I, I think most of the big guys line as everybody else is now, you know, given up and went on to Mac. And seriously, the iPhone right now, the latest iPhone can actually render videos so fast, it's incredible. So just imagine the possibilities of this. I know a lot of you guys are going, I hate Apple, Hello, but here it goes. Welcome back. It's great to have you join us. I'm really excited for today and the news we have to share with you. It's amazing to think that this is our third major event in just the past two months. In the midst of enormous challenges this year, our teams have remained focused and they haven't stopped innovating. We're on an unbelievable pace of new product releases, delivering more new products this fall than ever before, starting with upgrades to our powerful operating systems, as well as our other remarkable products, the incredibly capable and affordable Apple Watch SC and Apple Watch Series now, 6. Now guys, I'm gonna admit to you, I'm only really on interested in a couple of things. I don't I an wear an Apple Watch. I do have a, an iPhone, which I'm recording this on. Because John from TLD finally kicked me down one. But, services with Apple you know, I'm mainly a PC, the new Android and guy. More powerful I'm slowly changing. IPad. John said there was just one a little bit of difference thing. between the new phones. It's I have the 11 Pro the 11 Max. They I do use chances. the my they iMac create. for everything. My music, they for editing, they use the everything. Mac to help everything change filming the world. itself because that's a camera. And we'd like to celebrate them. There's a certain kind of person. Tom Hanks. I love that guy. It doesn't take no for an answer. They don't walk in quietly. I don't know if any of you guys are watching. They're basically showing all the different professional people that use Max. And I like I said, most professional people Status use Status quo Mac. breaking. Grazing greatness. Braving hatred. And taking up space. Hatred is wrong. Never got a seat at Hopefully the table. Country can start so you can't sit and behave. Hey. They'd rather it's... defy the rules and amaze. There's a certain kind of person who doesn't wait for greatness. Oh wow, it's a fashion lady. They make it. Wow. Ah, <laughs> people. <laughs> Probably way more than that. They could probably go on for like two days just showing Apple people. It's great to see how people. The building use the they're in also looks pretty badass. Thing. I don't know if it's real or if it's virtual, the Mac but it has still looks awesome. Been about innovation and bold change. In June, we announced that the Mac is taking another huge leap forward by transitioning to Apple Silicon. And we promised that the first Mac with Apple Silicon would arrive by the end of this year. Here we go. Apple well, Silicon. Well, that day is here. To tell you more, yeah, baby. here's John. John, what? Morrison, you're on here? What's going on here? You didn't tell me you were going to be working for the man today. That's pretty damn cool. The graphics on this thing are, are just top notch. I wish I could film like this or make something like this. This looks so awesome. Any? And we be? call it M1. M1. M1 has been optimized for our most popular low power systems where small size and power efficiency are critically important. It is a stunningly capable chip, and it ushers in a whole new era for the Mac. Now let's get started by spending a few minutes on a deep dive into this new chip with Johnny. With Johnny? I thought you were John. Another Johnny? M1 is a breakthrough chip for the Mac. Our approach with M1 was to deliver industry-leading performance and features while relentlessly focusing on power efficiency. As a result, M1 delivers a giant leap in performance per watt and every Mac with M1 will be transformed into a completely different class of product. M1 is the first system on chip or SOC for the Mac. 
Let me show buy you it and Mac. buy a new Mac Until last now, month. The Mac needed multiple chips to deliver all of its features. The Sounds M1 great CPU for laptops. The industry by delivering the worth so the far, this is cool, but this is M1 for laptops. So to me, I'm kind of semi-excited, unless there's going to be more that. announced. I was really hoping to for a Mac Mini or a new iMac that, that just did everything much better. That's what M1 I was looking GPU for. Is in a class of its own. It's still going. Here is the graphics. M1 I mean, the so, I mean honestly, this is badass for people who are into like portable stuff. You know, laptops. This is probably the best laptops on the market for sure. Latest ISP on more. Their Mac software is completely geared to, to work with their chip, to so it's going to be faster because it's made to work together. experiences and capabilities, let's turn it over to Craig. Talking about some for Big Sur. I've surfing in Big Sur, I know that. We've been able to design Mac OS for our own silicon. You touch me, but don't you know. How cool is that? And with M1... Things you do every day. Like Once again, though, it's a laptop. Nearly instantaneous. And Safari, which is already the world's fastest browser, really shines on Apple Silicon. Holy crap. It's now one and a half times speedier at running JavaScript and almost two times more responsive. The whole system is distinctly I mean, all of this stuff is really impressive for what it is. Smooth. The sheer speed of M1, together with macOS technologies like Metal, Deliver a huge what boost heavy to the most demanding apps. And Mac OS Maybe they can build an iMac with a much more powerful M2 chip or something so that this is locking for the desktop as well. 6K video to playing graphically intensive games or performing real-time machine learning inference. This is all totally, also totally impressive for, you know, which those people who want to have a laptop. I got to say that. Performance and efficiency cores automatically optimizing for lightweight tasks like reading a note or performance intensive tasks like playing a game. So your Mac gives you quiet performance uh -oh. and step even into that game territory again. <laughs> when it comes to security, Macs are not known to M1 be game represents machines. a major Mine leap sucks. forward. For years on iOS, we've worked to continuously advance the state of the art for computer security. And with M1, we're bringing this architecture to the Mac. This includes not only hardware verified secure boot and automatic high performance encryption for all your files, but also new security protections built deep into the code execution architecture of M1, giving you the most advanced deep security into the protection. of any personal computer. Yeah, this is exciting stuff here because it should lead to other products in the yeah, Apple family. I mean, and them being able to make their own silicone that's going to work with their software and be faster. I mean, that is really cool stuff. Even if you're a PC guy, you have to like that because either way, the technology trickles around to everybody. Mind-blowing. And when you compare MacBook Air to the best-selling Windows laptop in its class, the new Air is up to three times faster. And what's even more okay. amazing is that with M1, MacBook Air is faster than 98% of PC laptops sold in the last Ouch. year. Ouch. Now let's talk about that neural engine. With 16 cores, neural machine engine. learning workloads are up to an Combined with the power management in Mac OS Big Sur, the new Air delivers all this performance without a fan. So no matter how intense the task, MacBook Air is completely silent. Damn, and that same that's great for recording studio right there, also honestly. delivers extraordinary battery life with up to 15 hours of wireless web browsing and up to an amazing 18 hours of video playback. Damn. That's six hours longer than before. And when you're video conferencing, which can rapidly drain the battery, you can go up to twice as long on a single charge. This is the longest battery life. I'm not ever. a grand fan there. of laptops, but this thing does sound friends, pretty badass and pretty and nice. I'll remotely, admit that. We know camera image quality matters even more. So we're excited that with M1, Apple's camera. latest image signal processor comes to the Mac. And the cameras this on my Mac suck. This delivers better noise reduction and greater dynamic range for sharper images and more detail in shadows and highlights as well as improved auto white balance combined with ML enhanced face detection so you look more natural on your FaceTime calls. That's cool. In fact, everything looks stunning on the 13 inch retina display, which now supports P3 wide color for even more vibrant. Now I can have it on a 70 inch images. screen and call and my friends and see it on a 70 inch screen. Combined with Big Sur, Air delivers best in class security. Where's with my features Apple like 7, Touch ID, 70 inch TV. Which make it easy to unlock your Mac and make secure online purchases using Apple Pay with just the touch of oh, your finger. With G-Sync. <laughs> and finally, I wish, all right. these powerful features with a completely new level of performance are delivered in a sleek wedge-shaped design. 
With M1 and Big Sur, we've taken the MacBook Air and transformed it into something far beyond any other thin and light notebook. And even with this gigantic increase in performance, along with its new features, the Air still starts at just $9.99. A thousand bucks. And for education, thousand bucks for the entry level. Eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for education. Delivering way more value than ever before. So that's the new MacBook Air. With M1, it has jaw-dropping performance. Three and a half times faster CPU, five times faster GPU, all in a silent, fanless design. It also has a more vibrant retina display, improved camera quality, and incredible battery life, up to 18 hours. The longest ever in a MacBook Air. So once again, Mac I mean, laptop Air users are probably gonna be, especially guys who use Mac laptops, I could see them being totally blown enjoy. away. I mean, like, this yeah, MacBook Air this is, is awesome. Amazing. I mean, so it does sound amazing, here. I'll admit it. We've taken our most popular notebook, and with M1 giving it more performance than 98% of PC laptops sold in the last year. A huge increase in battery life. Wow, and at the same like a spaceship time, on top of this guy. Fan. That's just nuts. With that unbelievable combination of performance and portability, it is by far the best MacBook Air we've ever made. But that's not all, because today we're bringing M1 to another beloved Mac. And here it is. That's what I'm talking about. Another beloved Mac. How about one of them that's my beloved? One that's not a portable one. <laughs> here we go. The drums are beating. <laughs> These are some killer graphics, all I gotta tell you, man. That's some gnarly stuff. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The Mac Mini. I've been looking forward to this to like run my music studio for a this while. This is the new Mac Mini. Yes. The tremendous level of integration offered by happy. the system on the chip <laughs> design of M1 allows us to pack a remarkable amount of performance and capability into its compact design. To tell you more about it, here's Julie. Here's Johnny. Oh wait, wrong show. This is Julie. Here's Julie. Mac Mini delivers the Mac desktop experience in an incredibly small form factor. Our users love its outstanding performance, Heck yeah. array of connectivity, I have a and really giant, design. expensive monitor I want to use, but I'm going to use my its Mac. Versatility. It's why you'll find Mac Minis everywhere, from home offices to home theaters, studios to render farms. Today, M1 comes Render to Mac farms. Mini, is that where they grow little renders and grow them into big renders? what an ultra-compact desktop can do. With the 8-core CPU in M1, Mac Mini delivers up to three times faster CPU performance than the previous quad-core version. This is a monumental leap in CPU performance for Mac Mini. So if you're a developer compiling a million lines in Xcode, or a musician using Logic yeah. Pro to take music production to a whole new level, performance never skips a beat yes and i'm so glad i waited <laughs> gives the mini a gigantic six-fold increase in graphics performance this enables uh -huh. you to That's do cool. things you wouldn't have dreamed of before I on the mac the audio. Mini, like designing a graphics intensive game in unity or when the work is done cranking up the graphics settings while playing a great game like Baldur's gate 3. The Mini has an outrageous amount of performance in such a compact design. They are really pushing this fact, gaming thing. I'm going to be excited if it actually Mac can Mini play a game. I don't like Baldur's Gate, but it's kind of a really freaking old title. The Mini like nine-year-old title. The size. We can play a nine-year-old title. Yet, We're awesome. Five <laughs> times faster. There's an array connectivity? Of Does she mean connectivity? Two USB -C connectivity. Ports that's that a now one. support both Thunderbolt and USB 4 to connect a wide range of peripherals. Including it's even got a headphone a jack. <laughs> at a full 6K resolution. Some of you guys get that right. With the M1 chip and Big Sur, our most versatile Mac packs a staggering amount of performance and incredible new features. Desktop combines such breathtaking performance with such an affordable price. So that's the mighty new Mac I wish they showed all the specs and showed us like what's the biggest powerful we could get. They're not showing that, so I'm kind of disappointed with a three in that. Times faster Although, here we go. CPU, yeah, they are showing it now. Six okay. times faster GPU and two the neural engine SSD. that boosts ML performance up to but 15 times. But I wonder how much a 2-terabyte SSD one costs. The new Mac Mini is a phenomenal desktop that's far more versatile and far more capable than ever. Now, back to John. This really is the most incredible Mac Mini we've ever made. 
Thanks to the integration and phenomenal graphics capabilities of M1, this new Mini will enable high-performance general-purpose computing in a way that was never before possible in such a compact design. Okay, for me, Here's another laptop. Because it delivers powerful performance and has a gorgeous display. All in a sleek and portable three-pound design. So I'm just not that into laptops. I mean, I'm sure John from TLD and all the other you know, guys out there are probably going, Whoa! Yeah! But I the don't care. <laughs> I'm interested in a new iMac, maybe, or the Mac Mini. If I can get a Mac Mini... This is game-changing for developers using Xcode. This is just basically saying the same thing that we've been talking about. So the M1 is going to be in all these products. And for photographers using Photoshop, who can apply filters and effects oh, to high-res photos, this one will be more powerful because it's a When it comes Mac to graphics, Pro. the 8-core GPU is... Okay, the new so Mac honestly, Pro at this point, in the event, I'm kind of like, okay, uh, we've already talked about the M1 like so many different times. When and ripping through intensive obviously, like the Pro is going to be more powerful, so it's an M1 and with a Pro. With Heck. all this unbelievable compute power, the battery life I know, is they're simply excited, but... amazing.